Well, it's become clear to me after seven years, eight years of doing this, the media apparently does not know me at all. They don't know how much I kind of enjoy them. It's like a not even toxic relationship. I particularly love Media Matters. Yeah, far left. But when I had my old show, like before I got canceled, I was really sad for a lot of reasons, but especially because I was going to miss Media Matters every single day. They were dedicated. It was essentially a free PR firm. They'd pull out these clips of my show and write mean headlines about me. And I think they thought that it upset me, but I was not offended at all. I thought it was really funny. Obviously, I mean, I do my show because I, I think the stuff I'm saying is funny or I believe that it is true. And they were always like, look at her. She's a transphobe. So imagine my surprise yesterday when I found out that they are back and they are tuning into the new show. Look at this headline regarding me on Media Matters. It says, I'm not kidding, transvestigation nation, right-wing media figures' obsession with trans people is breaking their brains. Transvestigation, what a brilliant word. I am so upset that I did not think of it, that it came from Media Matters and did not come from me. I love that I will now be using that. But let's jump back into their piece because they've got more to say. They are big mad at me. They continue. Prior to losing her job at the Daily Wire, Owens proclaimed that she would stake her, quote, entire professional reputation on the theory that Brigitte Macron, the longtime wife of French President Emmanuel Macron, was hiding the fact that she is a transgendered woman. While her accusation was met with derision, outrage, and concern, Owens made the claim in a new video on her YouTube channel and then repeated it several days later. Oh, I love this so much because they are just such dweebs. I mean, I really am appreciating the fact I, I showed you yesterday that girl that went viral and she was saying that so many people that are in charge are just dweebs. And I don't mean dweebs in the sense of like the people that did their homework and the people that studied and got good grades. I mean, these people are losers and they think that they have so much power and they get so upset when you have the audacity to say, I'm not listening to you. They, they hate confidence. Their job is to make us not feel confident. And they're angry at me because, oh, after the derision, after the outrage, she had the audacity to repeat the claim on her show, her new show again. Yeah, I repeated it because it's true, ladies and gentlemen, and you're not going to believe what I discovered. Piers Morgan, you lied by omission. Now, just to backtrack, I know you guys are following this story, and I'm telling you, this one's going to collapse under the weight of its own lies. I have no fear. I'm going to be a hero. I People in France already came up to me tons of times and were like, thank you so much. You know, when I was in, in France uh, last month or a couple of months ago, thank you so much. We all know that obviously she's a man and the mainstream media is just trying to gaslight us because that's what they do. They lie, lie, lie. And then they admit it years later, and then they pretend that they didn't really know it was true, and they know it's true. Again, showing you this old photo, uh, the one of the only two that has been ever produced of Brigitte Macron as a child, and Brigitte Macron is the son on the left, looks exactly like Brigitte Macron, the media trying to pretend that Brigitte is the one sitting on the lap. No, but that is Jean-Michel Trogneau's little sister, whose name was Brigitte, and it is the speculation of the reporters and the investigators and the genealogists that have been working on this story that Jean-Michel Trogneau took little Brigitte's name and is pretending to be Brigitte when obviously, no, uh, it's just a dude. And I feel very comfortable saying that. I have no fear because everybody that reads the six piece news piece that came out breaking the story, the six part investigation rather, recognizes that it's just undeniable. Brigitte Macron is a man. I'm sorry. I'm the first to tell you. I'm used to being the first to say something and everyone sort of freaks out. I was the first against me, too. I was the first against COVID shots. And then eventually the world catches up because you just cannot listen to these dweeb reporters. That is the fact. But back to Piers Morgan, because I am upset. So you remember he like threw down the gauntlet when I was on his show and he bet me 100K regarding the story? Well, let me jog your memory of this little moment. Take a listen. Brigitte Macron, as you know, has a libel trial against Natasha Ray, who made the claims that the French First Lady was born a man called Jean-Michel Trogneur. It's due to take place imminently, and we will get to the bottom of this. And I'll bet you, uh, why don't we have a, like a £100,000 bet that it establishes beyond any doubt to a charity of your choice and mine, $100,000, make it dollars, right now, that it is established beyond any doubt that she was born a woman. Do you accept that bet? I 
ladies and gentlemen, the lies, the lies. I cannot believe this. Let me tell you how I came across this. Well, I actually reached out and had a conversation with the journalist who initially broke this story regarding Brigitte Macron. Now, I should have known. Obviously, he was throwing a lot at me. That interview went on for an hour and a half, and this was toward the end of the interview. But I instantly should have flagged in my head that there was something weird about the fact that Natasha Ray is the person being sued for libel, given the fact that Natasha Ray is not the person who initially produced the six-part series. Fate et Documents is the uh, is the publication that produced it, and that is operated by an, a man named Xavier Poussard. Well, here is the actual fact. Natasha Ray and Amandine Roy are not on trial for claiming that Brigitte Macron was born a man. Therefore, Piers lied by omission. He knows that people that are watching that when they hear, oh, there's a defamation trial, that there's a person involved who made the claim, they're going to assume that this must have been the person who actually produced all of the articles. But it wasn't. As I said, it was a man named Xavier Poussard, who I have been in touch with. Xavier Poussard was the editor-in-chief, the author, and the publication director of Fête et Documents. Again, they are the ones that produce the six-part series. So it begs the question, why isn't Xavier the first source of this story being sued? Well, as I said, he and I got in touch on X, and here's what he told me. I wanted to have him on for an interview, but I have to figure that out because he said that his English is not good and he has to use a translator. I'm planning on doing that over, down the line because the story is just absolutely fascinating. I asked him, I said, wait a second, why are you not being sued for defamation? And here's what he said to me verbatim, quote, because by pursuing me, they would allow me to speed up my proceedings against them before the administrative court. I am taking legal action against the French administrations, which wrongfully refuse to issue me documents, including identity photos, on the case in particular, photos of Jean-Michel Trogneau, as a young man, end quote. So yes, he claims that they are going after Natasha Ray instead because she's the perfect media red airing, right? Foremost, she is weak because she is currently suffering from a very advanced form of cancer. Also, because they were able to get her on a technicality, a technicality of libel. So let me slow this down so you understand what this lawsuit is actually about. It's got nothing to do with whether or not Brigitte Macron is a man or not a man. So Natasha, who helped this investigation, one of the journalists had helped this investigation looking into Jean-Michel Trogneau, who is also, you know, Brigitte Macron, she requested his birth certificate from the town hall in the city that Jean-Michel Trogneau was born. That city is called Amiens, right? Twice she, re she requested this birth certificate, which you're allowed to do. Here's the birth certificate of Jean-Michel Trogneau. She did this in April and she did this in May. And she heard back, and this is in the year 2021, by the way, before the story was even released, the town hall wrote back to her and said, I'm showing you right now the pictures of what they wrote back, and I'll translate it for you loosely. It says that the birth certificate of Jean-Michel Trogneau is, quote, not in our possession. We invite you to contact the town hall of the city where Jean-Michel Trogneau was born. They should have this document. So she receives this answer twice, and they're still working on the story. And then eventually they release the story. Xavier releases the publication, that six-part series that I keep telling you about in September, and the entire world explodes because it's legit. I mean, the research that was done, you just can't read it and come back from it and think that this is a conspiracy theory. And Natasha then went and did an interview on a YouTube channel. This is now in December of 2021, a couple of months after it's been released. And she's talking about the story and discussing this strange fact that the city of Amiens, even though they know that is where Jean-Michel Trogneau was born, could not produce the birth certificate. And she's speaking about this strange fact and arguing that it proves that the documents are somehow falsified. You know, why aren't you producing this? We know that you have this. Well, apparently, that is defamatory because the birth certificate, even though they didn't provide it, is not a falsified document. Thereafter, after her YouTube video received millions of views, suddenly the town hall, which had previously denied her twice, produced the birth document of Jean-Michel Trogneau. And they went, gotcha, 
aha, you said that this document was falsified. I know we didn't give it to you, but now we're giving it to you. And we have you saying on YouTube that this document didn't exist. So they not only were able to get YouTube to remove the interview, they then pursued Natasha Ray and Amandine Roy, who was interviewing her on YouTube on this technicality of defamation. That is what she is being sued for. That, that, that There is no other reason that they are being sued. But the reason that they're doing this, obviously, is because the mainstream media knows that Brigitte is a man, but they also know that they can convince everybody, which is what Pierce tried to do when he flagrantly lied, that this lawsuit is about whether or not she's a man. Bringing a lawsuit, it's, it's libel, it's defamation. What is it libel and what is it defamation about? Ladies and gentlemen, these are the exact same state-run apparatus, the mainstream media apparatus that knew that the COVID vaccine was not going to prevent you from getting COVID. It's the same apparatus that told you that Hunter Biden's laptop was fake. They lie and they lie and they lie until they can walk it back. So I don't want Pierce to have an opportunity to walk it back like he did regarding the COVID vaccine. So I'm going to issue him a challenge. More money. You said 100K? Well, I'm going to come back at you right now with a gauntlet of my own so that you cannot squirm out of this one because you know that Brigitte Macron did, in fact, statutorily rape Emmanuel Macron. She was 39 and he was just 14 when they began their love affair. So I'm going to issue you a very easy challenge, Piers. First, for $50,000, I challenge you to read the documents and then to go live on air on your show and say, quote, I do not believe after having read the document and reviewing the evidence that President Emmanuel Macron was statutorily raped by his wife, end quote. I want you to read that when he was a student. For another 50K, after reading the documents, I want you to say, quote, I remain fully convinced that Brigitte Macron was not born a man. Then for the last 50K, I want you to say, after reviewing the lawsuit that Brigitte Macron brought against Natasha Ray, I stake my entire career on the fact that the defamation claim is strictly pertaining to whether or not Brigitte is a woman or a man. That's it, Piers. Read the docs. 50K, 50K, 50K. That's $150,000 for uttering a couple of sentences. I want you to put your neck on the line. I want you to actually say that because I am that convinced that you are lying. And maybe you're doing it accidentally. Maybe your producers just read mainstream headlines and were like, oh, Natasha's being sued for this reason. But I don't think it's it's accidentally. I'm not sure if it's accidental. I, I think you are many ways a part of that mainstream media apparatus that lies to people until. I hope I'm wrong, but that is the bet, and I hope you take me up on that offer.